Hello everybody, it's Karen here from KarenPrince.com and this is a short video to see if you want to learn Scrivener the easy way by taking a video course. I learned how to use Scrivener from the user's manual, which was very challenging because I'm a visual learner and find written instructions without images explaining them quite hard to follow. But once I learned how to use it, I could not believe how much easier it was to write and publish using Scrivener. So my mission is to teach other writers how to use it in a more visual way. For those of you who find manuals easy to work from, you don't need this course. Nearly everything you will learn here is covered in the official Scrivener user's manual. But for the rest of you, I'm going to walk you through the process, showing you where everything is and how it works. And because it's quicker and easier to learn by watching videos, I hope you're going to find some brilliant Scrivener features that you wouldn't otherwise have come across. Scrivener, like all software, is constantly updating to give you the best user experience. So there are several differences between Scrivener 2 and Scrivener 3. And the compile menu has changed to the point where the instructions given in my previous course on how to use Scrivener 2 do not apply to this course. If you haven't upgraded to Scrivener 3, please refer to my previous course which covers the same material for earlier versions of Scrivener. Let me give you a quick overview of what's going to be covered in this course. I have split it into two parts so that those of you who want to get a quick start can focus on the foundation you need to create a book and publish it in Scrivener. In the Essentials section, you will learn all the basics about how to set up a project, familiarize yourself with the regions of the user interface and how to use them, and organize your manuscript and resources into one place so that they are easily accessible. I'll explain about Scrivener's view modes, which allow you to view your project in different ways depending on how you like to work and what task you are performing at the time. Along the way, I will cover the most commonly used features like how to set word count targets, place bookmark links to internal and external resources, and assign labels and status stamps to your documents so that you can organize them and keep track of your work progress. Then I'll show you how to set up and compile a book using Scrivener's pre-configured compile styles in a standard manuscript format, as a paperback, and as an ebook. The second part of this course, Exploring Further, is about all the other clever features of Scrivener that make your writing life that much easier, but you don't necessarily need in order to get started. Like collections, where you can isolate a group of documents to be processed together without moving them from their original position in the binder. And quick ways to import your manuscript from Microsoft Word already split into chapters and scenes, or import your brainstorming session from a mind map application. Lastly, we'll take an in-depth look at Scrivener's Compile Format Style menu for those of you who want to create your own compile layout and style and perhaps include glyphs between scenes or images above chapter headings. There are too many features to mention here, so you could watch all the videos in case you find something helpful or you could browse through the curriculum when your project is underway and pick out the features that you're most interested in learning. Before you commit to this course, I just want to mention that there are certain things Scrivener can't do or are beyond the scope of this course. Even though Scrivener is a brilliant content management and writing application, it's not a desktop publishing software application like Adobe InDesign for creating fancy layouts such as brochures or magazines. It's still capable of exporting a nicely formatted non-fiction book, so you can have images with text beneath, but you can't create columns and sidebars or text wrap your images. For academic writers, Scrivener does not do Cite While You Write, so you need third-party software to create a professional bibliography. I'll show you how to set your chosen bibliographic software in Scrivener's Preferences menu, 
But as there are several bibliography apps on the market, I will not be showing you how to use them in this course. If you're a writer and you're ready to learn all the fantastic features that Scrivener 3 does offer to help you consistently produce great content and very professional looking books, if you're watching this video on my website, click on the Scrivener 3 button and watch a preview of the course. If you're on YouTube, there is a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the inside.